Hi folks, uh, welcome back to Street Rust, and I'm, I know I don't do this often, but when, my name is Keith, uh, I am Street Rust, me, myself, and I at this point, um, in case you were wondering, so there you go on that. Hey, I, I know a lot of times I get on here and say, man, I'm tired, I'm wore out, I've been doing all that, don't want to do that tonight. I, I want to lift you up, I want to edify you, I want to encourage you, if, uh, if you're in this situation, you got a car sitting around, and sometimes you just don't have the energy to do it. You know what? Do it. Just get out there and just do something every day. Do a little. I don't care if you go out there and just clean something for five minutes. Do something. So I would encourage you to do that. So I know that the last video was ultra boring, getting this dash back together. Uh, I don't think the floor and the, the rest of the interior is going to be more exciting until we get to the carpeting, which we're very close, and we get to the seat cover and things of that nature. We still have a checklist here that we're working on, and we're not very far. The good news is the heater box took a lot of time and a lot of thought and a lot of energy, and it's done. So that's the good news. A lot of the stuff on here is, is going to move quick. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the back seats out. I'm going to cover the dash in plastic and maybe, maybe the back window here just so that these chemicals we're going to be using on the floor, the paint, the primer, and the rust neutralizer, uh, will not hurt anything. So I'll get that ready and we'll be right back. Appreciate it. Just want to give you all a quick update before I got rocking on this. It is the next night. But uh, as you can see, I had the back seats out. Definitely have the back seats out. Um, I've And I wound up, let me show you over here on the floor. This is what I wound up taking out. When you start taking one thing out, you wind up taking the side pillar molding the molding around the windows you just wind up taking all that out so what you'll see over here is where some of that molding goes someone around the window and all that kind of good stuff so i'm going to get in here now and get this cleaned up with a wire wheel and all i'm going to do is take a wire wheel and a drill and uh you can see a couple things i did last night i want to show you first of all you can see this area here that's all i'm doing this uh rust neutralizer which is right here is what I've been using. I've used it before. It specifically says you need to leave some rust there because it's neutralizing the rust. Otherwise, take it down to bare metal, it might actually cause rust. So I'm gonna drop that light, I think. But I got, I got the sun visors out, all the trim, all that kind of good stuff. And this area down here, this is what we're looking for. I went ahead and hit this with a wire wheel. I'm probably gonna give that another coat. This was the worst spot in the car, and I hit it with the wire wheel, knocked off the heavy stuff, sprayed it down, and uh, you're supposed to let this cure for 24 hours. I gave it two coats, 10 minutes in between. Probably hit that again just to make sure. So, with all that in mind, let me get this turned around. I am absolutely not going to bore you with all of this. I'll get that. I'll get this done. I'll get it. Uh, the windows taped off i'll get it prepped and i'll get the neutralizer on there may come back when that's done i'm going to hit it with some paint and primer uh some spots it's, it doesn't matter what it looks like because it's going to be under padding we've also got let's see i'm going to turn this camera back around we've got the uh i've got a couple rolls of this this is what's going to go underneath i got the new carpeting Underneath the new carpeting, there is a uh, jute in certain areas, some of the heat areas like the hump. But this floor does get hot. You can feel it when the exhaust is running, especially over here. Some of this right here along, he along here, I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. Just that little bit of tar, per se. I'm not gonna touch this over here. It looks like in good shape. This kind of messes with getting the seat seated down. And I'm gonna be covering that with some new insulation. So I'm gonna pop that out. So. Anyway, I'll get back with y'all as soon as I got this ready. Thank you. Bye. All right, quick update. Um, uh, I've got the plastic on the front. I'll get, I'll get some plastic on the back before I do this, but you don't see you don't see much difference in the floor because there wasn't a lot of rust. But you can see like this rust here. I've hit that with the wire brush on a drill, but big difference on the ceiling. If you saw it before. Uh, this is significantly different. I'll be putting plastic over this back window. I'm going to go ahead and hit everything with the 
uh, rust neutralizer. Give it a couple coats tonight. It's getting late. Got to work tomorrow. But I'll get this done. And we'll come back and look at it tomorrow night and give it a give it a coat spot paint here and there where we need to. And uh, then we'll get ready to uh, start reversing everything. Thanks. See you shortly. Okay. Uh, I've got all the rust neutralizers sprayed. Hit this area up here again. You can see everything's turning black. That's a really good sign. That's what we're wanting to see. We, uh, even up here on the roof, got all that done. Back windows taped off. Anyway, uh, that's it for tonight. Got to work tomorrow. Got to get some sleep. Uh, we got to let this cure uh, for 24 hours. And then we'll, we will uh, get some painting done. Start laying down the insulation, get the carpeting in. See you tomorrow. Well, see you in a couple seconds for y'all. And we are back. And it is the next night. I just want to keep you guys updated. Uh, this is kind of a lengthy project doing this. And I can't get it done on, all in one night. I got the uh, rust neutralizer applied last night. I've let it set, cure for 24 hours. We'll take a quick look at that. And when I'm done with that, I am probably going to set up the camera. But I'm going to start on the roof doing the black, do a couple coats, and then I'll work my way down, and then I can do the floor from outside the vehicle. So let me let me get you in here, take a look at everything here. Okay, uh, you can see you can see what that rust neutralizer does as far as the black, especially up in here where we had that bad area. That's exactly what we want to see. You can see it over there on the driver's side, and we're good. I am not going to paint the entire floor black uh it just isn't gonna need it and it's overkill nobody's gonna see it so i'll hit the areas that need it of course the ceiling up here the roof i'll be hitting all that 100 percent from front to back i'll do the side rails i've got all the panels out and everything and uh so we're gonna get on it i'll uh set this up and try to do a little video while i'm doing it And we'll try to wear a mask so I don't get all these black buggers, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to be inhaling this stuff. I'm using this Rust-Oleum. This is a, this is a two-in-one. Two it's good for metal. It's got primer and paint. Why am I doing that? Well, it's the floor, number one. Number two, a can of primer is about 13 bucks, And a can of black spray paint, flat satin, Krylon, or Rust-Oleum is about 8 bucks. So for like, I think it was $6.99, it's a no-brainer. So... Okay, I'm gonna start up here at the top, keep the video rolling. Oh, got a little handy dandy sprayer here. Love this thing, use it a lot. And let's get rocking. Kidoki, uh roof is done that's all i'm doing up there i'm gonna go ahead and work on the floor and uh kind of let you see if i can have y'all follow along here but it's nothing nothing amazing tell you what i'm gonna i'm just doing a little bit of this and then i'm gonna shut this thing off and uh y'all know how to spray paint i don't think uh there's anything super spiritual or super exotic about spray painting but uh i'm definitely gonna hit this area not getting it all in one coat hit this area first 
And if there's enough, if there's enough uh, paint in this one can I got left, I did two cans on the ceiling because it needed quite a bit. But like, like this floor here, you know, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit these areas. Make sure the camera's still working. Hit these areas where I know I've got some rust. And these areas here, those areas, just where I know I got some rust. I'll go hit all these areas, and then I'll come back. If I have anything left, I'll hit the rest of the floor. But uh, I'm going to get this done. I'll come back, get a shot of it, and uh, then we got to let this dry overnight. Okay, there you go. The floor is done. I had enough paint to kind of cover everything just to make it look uniform. Not that it matters. Notice I didn't paint the back. Didn't need it. Not any, not any rust or anything there. So anyway, to me, the floor looks immaculate. It's still a little wet. It's a little tacky. It's raining outside, so it's very humid. Uh, I'm going to let this dry till tomorrow night when I get off work. I'm leaving the plastic up here because it's still a little tacky. And I don't want to risk uh, messing anything up. So what's next? The floor dries. Then we're going to go ahead and do this heat barrier and sound barrier on the entire floor. We got plenty to the whole floor. We got the rollers from another project we did on the Miata. Uh, so that will go in first. We'll measure that. It's self sticking. You roll it in, it's great. Then look at that beautiful emerald green carpet. And isn't that the ugliest color you've better ever seen in your life? But uh, hey, this is gonna look freaking great in here. And uh, let me show you, well, a couple things on this carpet, and you'll, you'll see this tomorrow. It's got jute in a lot of the areas, so we're gonna have kind of like a double barrier because we've got this, uh, this uh, barrier here that we're gonna use, and we're gonna use this. So that'll keep the heat and the sound off of this. This is actually, until I get the, I know you, some of you are gonna hate this, but I, I'm going to put uh, glass packs on this thing. We'll talk about exhaust later. But anyway, uh, letting this carpet lay out. I can't leave it lay out in the sun because it's been raining the last couple of days. Uh, even got the little place for your foot here. So we're going to be uh, rolling with the Rockefellers here. So anyway, uh, I think that's about it for tonight. Let me uh, let me get behind this thing and... I just want to thank you. First of all, thank you all for watching. It's greatly appreciated. I hope that uh, you find some value in this. I hope you find some value in seeing me struggle, but I hope down the road you see the value when my son and I are on the Hot Rod Power Tour that it's all going to be worth it. I'm having a blast. There's nothing I'd be rather doing. I'm in my garage. I'm staying out of trouble. I don't get in trouble out here. Not much, at least. Just when I make, like when I'm stinking up the place with paint and making a lot of noise late at night but uh man i'm enjoying this and i and i just can't wait to get this thing on the road so uh we'll see you tomorrow night It'll be a couple seconds for you hours for me and we're going to get this flooring in oh seat cover hope you hopefully you can see this i'm doing this right we got this seat cover look at that look at that beauty right there let me lay this down let you look at that real quick that's what the front seat is gonna look like right there. And it it perfectly matches what I've done to the back seats here. That's just, that's just a perfect match right there. I think anybody would be proud of that. But the bottom line is uh, we're on a budget. We got other things we gotta get done to this car. We got a whole list and uh, we're gonna get it done. We got about, oh, I don't even know what today is. Today's like the 15th of Monday of uh may and so we got right at it a month a little less than 30 days to get this thing uh on the road and it'll be there thank you very much be blessed <clears throat> okay it is the next night um everything's dry and we're fixing to get this underlayment this insulation in so here's the question Do you go this way? <laughs> Do you go that way? Do you cut it up in little squares, you know, to get all the contours done? I, I, I put, a, put a ruler to it, tried to figure it out, and I think the easy... Sorry about that, the uh, battery went dead. So what I was talking about is do, do we go this way, this way, or cut it up in squares? I've determined that given this floor, it's gonna be easier to go this way, so that's what we're gonna do, okay? Um, what I'm doing right now, I've gone ahead and started it. I'm peeling it off the back. 
but I've got to find the hole. There's a little screw. This is for my electric seat that works. It'll screw in right here. So I have got to make sure as I'm putting this down, I, I capture that hole. And we're still a little bit off here, so we'll get it. Hey, you know, this doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, this isn't about aesthetics because nobody's going to see underneath the carpeting. But, you know, you always want to try to do a good job. So that's what we're doing. All right, let's find the screw hole. There we go. It's right here. put the screw <laughs> black screw on black floor all right I'm gonna put this screw in here so I know exactly where that goes okay that part's done so we're just gonna continue here Is, uh, it is not going to be perfect, but it's hundred times better than what it was. So, so let's continue on across here. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to line up with this line right here. You know what I thought it was. It's not going to line up too well. Ooh. We're going to be a little off, but you know what? It's still going to work. You wouldn't like that at all. You not like that at all. to trim this off right along here okay you know what that's gonna work for now so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some shorter pieces and run them up this way and get that front piece and then I've got some uh, foil tape I'll tape over the seams when I'm totally done so. okay I'll get a couple pieces cut and we'll get right back to it all right I'm just going to cut these pieces across here and get this in, try to keep this rolling. Maybe I'll just come back and edit it, uh, do it in fast motion. So if you don't hear me, then you don't hear me.
a look. First time I ever done it, I think it looks pretty good. And I tell you what, this is a lot easier on the knees than that, that cold metal floor. I have got to trim a piece right there. Um, I'm going to do that real quick. And then I'm going to jump back in here and all these seams. Oh, June bug. Uh, I'm going to seal with this foil tape. And I just had this laying around. So uh, I got too much just laying around. I need to use it. So let me grab a pair of scissors. I'm going to trim that real quick. Folks, I'm calling this done and successful. We'll just keep taking a look at it. I think this uh, this turned out really, really good. We got all of this insulated. We've got everything sealed up. I'm going to go ahead and screw down that uh, screw down there for the power cord for the power seat. And I'm going to get this camera set back up. And we are going to drag some carpeting in here. All righty. Let's start getting it in. So the back piece of the carpeting, it's molded, it goes in first. There's a trim piece that's on the front piece that overlaps that. So we're gonna put this in first. Gonna need some trimming, that's for dang sure. But let's get it in and see what it looks like. Okay, that's the back piece. Let's get the front piece in. wire for the seat that's got to come up through here too. We're going to figure that out. But for now, let's just get her in. Come on, Matt. Hey, something, something already is right. That's definitely a piece of the back. I figured it out. All right. 
right, let me get this in first. All right. All right, so this molded corner I've got right here, you see I've got a big gap here. That's because the molded corner goes here. So they don't put carpenter underneath the back seat. Ain't no need. So we're gonna bring this forward quite a bit. And it's gonna go up under here. Okay. Even more. That's gonna come up more. That goes right there. There you go. I think we're pretty dang close. It's got to come over this way a little bit. All right, looky there. Got a little, a little bit, a little bit of trimming to do, but not gonna do that until I get the seats in. You can see I'm way over over here and I'm not over there. So that kind of needs to move. The whole car carpet needs to move that way. But I'll tell you what, green it is. It is absolutely, absolutely coming together so all that stuff up there under the dash i still got to get tied up but i want to make sure everything's functioning properly before i do that so we're getting there so uh i'm gonna get this readjusted and then we'll uh once once i think my adjustment's good we're gonna come back um figure out what i'm gonna do here i got to put in some uh some of these back panels and some trim back here on the window before I put this back seat on. So uh, we'll be back in a few minutes. A few seconds for you. All right, folks. Uh, it's getting late. And I'm I'm looking at, you know, I want to investigate this a little bit. I, I don't want to rush it because I'm tired and my brain is trying to process here. But where exactly does this carpeting need to be? Is it over? Or is it up against it? So when this rail comes over, does it? I think it's supposed to pinch it. But I want to look at that and uh, just make dang sure. We'll let this carpeting lay here tonight, kind of lay in place and uh, and get its form, and uh, get back on it tomorrow night. Tomorrow night after church, got church tomorrow night. So let me get this camera turned around. So thank you all for watching. Uh, this video is not over. It's going to continue because I want to get the entire interior done and in a video. Um, I got air shock showing up this weekend. I got the KBS kit uh, to clean and coat the fuel tank. Need to get that going because that's going to take several days. Uh, especially the part when you do the final cut. I think you got to let it set like, I'm thinking it was 96 hours. Don't quote me on that, but it's a couple days 
you gotta let it set there before you can even put fuel in it so got a lot of things to do we got to go over the electrical system in the engine check everything out uh got to get a new battery um gosh man we gotta go through the brakes and uh, gotta figure out the exhaust like i said i'm putting cherry bombs on it uh i was gonna do thrush glass packs but they can't get them to me until the fourth of june so we're going to go with uh, some cherry bombs i can get those at AutoZone and have them have them delivered so we got a lot going on folks but thank you for watching uh hope you're enjoying it i hope the journey is getting better more exciting and things of that nature and uh once again i'll see you tomorrow night but for you to just be a few seconds thank you be blessed